Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I have got many huge updates for the XDC community. We're going to be talking about an amazing thread on MLETR, Globians, Stablecoins, R3 and we will watch a clip from DTCC as in all the money. So I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at Twitter Maxis in my future patience. Some people are waiting for a favorable outcome for Ripple to invest in XRP. Others are waiting for MLETR and trade finance digitization to invest in XTC. That isn't how you do it. Get in early before everything happens. That's being a visionary. Now guys, I've told you many times on my channel that we are early in this technology. This technology is still at its early stages. They are still looking to regulate it and regulations could take many months, guys. It could take one to two years as well, right? It is possible that we could see regulations this year because with all the agendas, guys, the World Economic Forum talking about so many different things, the current war happening in Russia, I think it could take a bit longer, guys, because they want to drag it on as much as they can. They want to totally destroy this old economy, right? And they want to hurt as many people as possible. They don't really care about the average person, right? So you have to care about yourself. So if you want to get rich, guys, if you want to change your life and your family's life and many others around you, then you have to be a visionary, invest early. And if you're here, listen to my voice, then you have definitely done the right thing, guys, investing in XTC because XTC is going to change many lives and people are going to be gobsmacked. People are going to be shocked when the price actually goes up, guys, because it is definitely going to be going up, guys, because we are attacking a trillion if not quadrillion dollar market guys so please pay attention let's move on to the next bit looking at it from utility xrp xlm xdc will be deemed a supranational currency now guys what do you reckon a supranational currency is a type of currency that is used by a supranational organization such as the european union or the imf and is intended to be used across multiple countries these currencies are typically used as a reserve currency by central banks and are not generally available for use by the general public. It is definitely possible, guys. Why not? I mean, these are the X coins. People need to pay attention to them. And looking at the narrative against stablecoins right now, it's looking very clear that they don't want any other stablecoin. They just want their CBDC stablecoins that they're going to be creating to be used as a form of exchange. So... It is possible, guys, that we could definitely see the X coins being used by these high level organizations. So the codes for precious metals is XAU and XAG and for palladium is XPD and platinum XPT. Just imagine the X coins, guys. Why are they called XLM? Why is it XRP? Why is it XDC? I honestly think, guys, that these three currencies could easily fit in to being the future precious metals like the digital version of gold the digital version of silver i think it's very possible guys why are they called x coins by the way and if they are going to be the digital gold guys imagine what the price of these currencies are going to be guys so just pay attention because these coins are definitely going to change a lot of lives let's move on to the next bit looking at we from rich culture so guys we're going to touch quickly upon MLETR because many people might be wondering what is MLETR and how does it all fit in with XTC. So I'm just going to be picking out some key points for you to take on board. I'm not going to go through the whole thread. I'm just going to pick out some good things that I think you should know. So looking at the start guys here is what is MLETR and who's behind it? Why XTC? So it's been developed by United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, which is a group of experts from around the world who work together to create legal rules and standards for international trade. So guys, you're talking about legal rules and you're talking about the world experts coming together you're not just talking about the uk building mletr all of a sudden i mean they've got the whole world with them waiting for it to go through guys this is a global effort mletr is not just the uk's law it's not just going to be implemented without the whole of the world being on the same page guys so this is all a show like i've always said so all you have to do is see past that show if you want to make that generation wealth so just to define what MLETR stands for, because in the past I've had many questions, people are asking what does MLETR stand for? So MLETR stands for Model Law on Electronic Transferable Records. It is developed as a framework to make sure that electronic records can be transferred from one person to another, legally recognized and can be used in court. So currently guys, 
the electronic records that people are using, PDFs, whatever they are using, they're not legally accepted right now. But what MLETR does is solves this problem by providing a set of rules and standards that countries are going to be using guys across the world. So once the UK adopts it this year, it's going to be a global domino effect. Everybody's going to be on the same page. They're going to be looking at the same records and they're going to be accepted worldwide. So as you guys already know, XDC, Zinfin is the first and only blockchain company guys who is part of the TFDI initiative and ITFA and DNI guys. And there's many other companies that we are partnered with such as Deutsche Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, HSBC and many others guys who are using this technology to transfer electronic records already guys. So it's already in the foundations, it's already in the pipelines. And it is a matter of time guys when XDC starts to see that massive trillion dollar volume flowing through it. So all you have to do guys is simple, have some patience. So going straight to the end guys, the big legal moves are being made in the background regarding trade finance by the ones in charge. It will save them loads of time guys and definitely loads and loads of money. So it is definitely very exciting to see XDC network in the middle of it all because they bring interoperability and a blockchain structure. It's very clear guys, XDC is at the center stage for this transformation. MLETR guys is going to change every single person's life on this earth because it is a transformation to the fourth industrial revolution. It's going to be felt across the world guys. And I really think guys that these boys, the big boys are waiting for this to become law because they want to get involved straight away because they are losing so much money right now. Trillions of dollars, that gap is getting only bigger. So they want to get to this technology so they can do everything seamlessly and easily and definitely guys it's interoperability because everybody will be on the same page and that level playing field guys so i hope you're ready guys because mledr is potentially happening this year and xdc guys is at the center stage so you better be paying attention let's move on to the next bit looking at tweet from crypto jerky one day gbex will surpass shiba inu with ease and investors that missed out won't be able to sleep at night. And guys, I do definitely agree with that. If coins like Shiba Inu with just speculation, FOMO can do that, then GBAX with all this utility, all this demand, all these real world use cases is definitely gonna shock a lot of people. And right now guys, GBAX is priced very, very low guys. You can get millions of GBAX right now for a certain amount of dollars. So if you want to buy GBEX guys, you can use my link in the description below. It will just support the channel and you don't have to do anything. Just use my link, register for Globines and use the app to buy some GBEX. So guys, it is definitely worth your time and attention because GBEX and Globines are definitely going to be part of the future guys because they are working towards regulations to be a bank and an exchange. I don't trust Binance even guys. I think Globines is going to be a much better bank and exchange than Binance has ever been. And with all the stuff right now guys unfolding against Binance, I think Binance is out of time. So be ready guys and invest in the future. Do have a look into GBEX as well. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Symmetry7. XDC R3 Coda Settlement Coin. Now guys, have a look at this. DTC's Project Ion platform now live in parallel production environment, processing over 100,000 transactions per day on DLT technology. And what are they using? R3's Coda guys. So this is a article from last year, but it doesn't change the fact that they are using R3 Coda for more than 100,000 transactions per day. And that is just the beginning. They're going to be doing trillion dollar transactions on R3 quarter guys and don't forget that R3 is highly connected to XTZ and like it or not guys they are using XTZ as their settlement token and it's the only one they're using guys so it's a no-brainer. Nasdaq is using R3's quarter for managing their digital assets and as you can see guys R3 is connecting everything together DTCC, XDC, Bridges, XRP everything is connected together and R3 guys is at the heart of it all guys and don't forget we are much more closer than any other blockchain with R3 because we are the only settlement token. And even Impel guys, you've got here, demo of Impel's R3 Coda XTC network bridge. Guys, everything goes through Coda because why do you think that happens? Because they have more than 95% of the world's banks already using 
the core, the ecosystem. So don't forget guys how huge this opportunity is. And we're now gonna watch a clip guys from DTCC to understand how they deal with all the money guys. Because I've mentioned quadrillions on my channel many times before. And many people are probably thinking, oh, what's that number? Or how could that be? But guys, listen to this video clip because it's gonna be amazing. And if you could share your views on how cross-chain and a multi-chain world um, you know, would evolve from your point of view. Sure, thanks. Um, and great to be here. Um, so Stephen Prosperi, I work at DTCC, uh, which is a post-trade market infrastructure provider. Uh, our core business is providing clearance and settlement services for U.S. securities markets uh, and post some pretty, pretty big numbers. Um, I think last year we processed $2.4 quadrillion worth of securities. <laughs> Uh, we often get asked if that's a real number, and it is in fact a real number. Uh, and it represents basically all broker-to-broker -broker, uh, trades of equities, corporate debt, treasuries uh, in the U.S. markets. So naturally, we're very focused on blockchain and the opportunities that it can present in the kind of industry that, that where we sit in the industry. Um, and kind of getting back to the question, cross-chain um, interoperability, uh, we think it's very important from, from day one of our exploration in this space, about six or so years now, We've kind of felt it important that there won't be one blockchain to rule them all. There will be multiple out there. The currencies will live across different chains and other assets of value represented through tokens will live across different chains. So um, very similar to the role that we play in traditional markets of bringing all of those together. So there you had it guys. There will not be one blockchain to rule them all. And I've said that before on my channel guys, XDC, XRP, XLM, just to name a few, are gonna be working together to provide that total absolute solution. And as you heard it there guys, 2.4 quadrillion a year. And XTC is partnered with R3 and DTC is partnered with R3. Guys, it's a no-brainer. Even if you had 1% of this market that DTC is processing, that would give XDC, the token, a massively high price. And even though it might seem unrealistic now looking at XDC at 3 cents, but this is the doubts that people had when Bitcoin was in its early stages, when Ethereum was in its early stages. Even though these technologies don't work, they are the old tech. XDC is a new technology. XDC is a much better version of all of them. So imagine what XDC's price would have to be to be a feasible solution to this quadrillion dollar problem. You do the maths guys, but all I can see is the moon because we are definitely gonna go past the moon once everything is set and done. So I hope you're ready guys because XDC is definitely getting ready to go. So please pay attention and thank you for watching. So that is it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto. I shall see you on another video tomorrow. Take care.